Okay, so I quickly read the startup on this and suggest that I season the stone before I use it for the first time. To put the stone in and then cook it. Cook it for 30 minutes, it says. So that's the stone. easy enough, isn't it? So there's the stone. It's in there one piece. All right, I got a full gas here. This is on off, and then it says to do that. Hold it in for a few seconds. It's off again. So, all right. Let me get this baby up real quick. It says don't look inside, by the way. So I'm going to turn this on. This is five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now is that all the way? Oh, okay. So that's low. That's high. It's not that high. Everyone always says they don't know whether it's up or down. It's pretty easy. Once it lights that's on high, and when you turn it all the way down to the left, that goes to low. So, I'm just going to let that run on high for 30 seconds. Give 30 minutes or so. Get myself a nice temperature gun here. It's going to tell me it's 163 degrees Fahrenheit already. Now it's 120, that don't make sense, so let's see what it is. Again. 153. How hot is it in the back? 230 already. Well, that's good. So we'll let this go for a few minutes and see how it goes, and then I'll, uh, I'll put you on pause, and we'll come back later. It's a nice, beautiful day out. It's not windy. Obviously, uh, my little setup here with the cart, I use that for my, um, my black stone griddle. Um, but uh, I have to probably come up with a better idea than that because I don't like the, I don't like how short the, the play is. If I push it a little too hard by accident, it's going over and that could be a real bad situation. Two hundred and sixty four Fahrenheit. It's not um, screaming anymore with the fire. Seems like it's mellowing out a little bit. How's the temperature on top of this thing? It's only one hundred and ten. It's actually pretty warm to the touch still, but it's still not that warm in here. I still hear it going, it's just not loud like it was before. This is all the way open, right? Sorry, about 370, 360. So let it run for a few minutes. How long is the camera going on now? I've only been on for five minutes, so I'm going to shut it off and we'll check back in a little bit. It's been about 10 minutes now. Let me see where we're at. We've got 
600 on the back aluminum. Got about 757 on the aluminum in the back. The stone is about 500 in the center. We got 910 on the way in the back on the top, so it is gonna it is getting 900 degrees in there, so that's good. It's not as loud when I first ran it; it was kind of loud. It's pretty quiet now. You don't hear that gas going. Um, it's good. Check back in a little while and see how it looks again. Okay, it's been probably 15 minutes now. And um, I did a quick scan on the back here, the top and the side. And on the top, I'm looking at 278. It's still, it's hot, but it doesn't like kill me when I touch it. The back here, 160. And on the handle control in the back, it's 134, it looks like. 100, 110, 100 range. So I can, I can put my hand back here very safely and it's not burning at all. So I hear a lot of people saying that. Not a lot. I've heard people say that the, the, uh, the knob in the back pops off when it gets hot. I'm going to guess it's probably because they're not ventilating it properly and it just jumps out because that's what happens. Underneath wise, we're looking at 100 degrees directly in the end and on the side where the the outs in the back where the flame is, 150. Now let's see where the center of my stone is. So I've got 658 degrees at the center of my stone. That's more than enough to get where I need to go. The outside edges, 350. I'll move that. Uh, 320. And again, in the very, very back. Looking at in between 910 all the way to 850, 800. So that's certainly hot enough. Hmm. I don't know if you can see it. I can see the heat just kind of climbing out of that, baby. The very front of the panel is 450 degrees. So that's hot. I opted to go with a wooden pan because it's easier to slide them off. And I also wanted to get a feel for it. Let's see how that all works out. You can see that burnt nice tan on it. So this thing will be nice and seasoned soon. Hopefully, let's see how that works. I'll probably have to go to a, uh, um, a metal one eventually, but I wanted to try it with this first. And Kind of excited about this. Sounds great. And that's still around 590, 600 degrees, so that's awesome. Okay, it's been about half an hour. So I'm going to go and I'm going to shut it off. But before I shut it off, I want to just check the general heat sensors. Now, I just did a dumb thing. And I walked about a foot away from the oven. And uh, this, the hair on my arm singed a little bit. So you got to be careful with that. Um, it was like right about here. It gets really, like here's fine. Right about, about a half a foot, a foot away. It just gets, it gets really, really, really hot. Um, I touched the back earlier. This is still, it's still, it's still warm to the touch, but it's not bad. I'm not, you know, I can't imagine this thing popping off on me. And you turn it all the way upward it does have a stop so I'm gonna guess you have to push it in in order to shut it off uh, I haven't shut it off yet um, the back here is 270 degrees 275 300 degrees roughly all the way back here 340 at the front 450 at the very 
edge here. Um, on the outside of the pizza stone, I've got 390 degrees. In the center, I've got 832 degrees Fahrenheit in the center of the stone. Now that's not supposed to happen, but it is. All right. In the very back, uh, 800 and almost 80 degrees, and then in the very top, 907. So this thing is pretty toasty. It got up there where I needed it to be. Uh, I will. This will uh, be my first cook when I do cook one. Um, so I'm gonna probably kill the first one, unfortunately, like everyone else does, burn it. By accident, of course, but you know, you live, you learn. I'm gonna shut this off now, and I am going to let it sit and cool. And then it says I should wipe off the inside with a paper towel, and that I should just kind of wipe the stone down. I'm, I'll have to reread the, that part about wiping the stone down. But I'm super psyched that this is getting that hot. Uh, it's about 60 degrees outside. It's um, May 16th, we're in lockdown still from the COVID-19. I'm tired of paying $40 every time the pizza guy comes to my house, so this hopefully will change that. Although that double zero zero flour is not all that cheap either. So shut this off at the gas, like I said, and let that bleed out a little bit. And that should be it. Get rid of the picker. I'm gonna push this in, and that's it. It's off. Locked in. It's awesome. Super psyched. But I definitely need to put something a little longer on here uh, just so that I, uh, I don't lose that. I don't want to lose that at all. So I'm going to go put the air condition in now because it's going to be summertime soon here in uh, New England. Okay, well, next time I see you, we'll be doing our first pizza.